another scrap with the creases, boy, eh, Junior? Yeah, Pop. Well, don't look so glum. We all have to lose sometime. Oh, I didn't lose, Pop. Butch Creases came out of it with two black eyes, while I only got one. Yes, but I'm sure neither of his can match the grandeur of yours. I smell a mortal coming up. And it's a dilly. Quality is more important than quantity. I can almost see what you mean. And as a further illustration of that adage, let us take the fable of the hare and the hound. Once there was a hound who, while walking through the forest, came across a bear trap. If I was to stick my leg into that trap and some dumb animal came along and thought I was hurt, he would take me into his home and nurse me and feed me. Having everything to gain and just a leg to lose, the hound put his worst foot forward and... Ooh, that's smart. The first animal to come along was a hare. Hello, hound. Hello, hare. What you doing? I ain't waiting for no streetcar. You got your foot caught in a trap, haven't you? Yeah, and does it hurt? Does it? Now that you ask me, yes. Look, why don't you be a generous hare and take me home with you? Oh, I'm afraid I couldn't do that, but I will help you get out of the trap. Being an unusually bright hare, he took the hound to the edge of the nearest cliff. And what are you going to do? I'm going to toss the trap over the cliff. I know, but where it goes... I go. But you want to break the trap, don't you? The hare's plan worked to perfection. The trap was broken. So was the hound's leg. The hare was forced to take him home. Look, look here, Rover. I can only let you stay one night. Oh, but that would be inhumane. Please, hare. You gotta let me recoup. You let me stay here until my leg heals, and someday I'll do you a favor. Honest Injun? Scout's honor. The hare agreed, and for six months he waited on the hound hand and foot. The day before the cast was to be removed, a stranger came to the door. There's a rumor going around that you got a dog. Well, that's right, but... Uh, you got a license for that dog? Well, you see, he's not really mine. You're under arrest. But, but, but... Don't you worry, hare. Someday I'll do you a favor. Honest honor? Scout's Injun. The little hare was sentenced to the rock pile for 30 days. Of course, things could have been worse. For instance, on Sundays, he was allowed visitors. Tough break, hare, but don't you worry. I'm taking care of your house. I know, but can't you help me get out of here? Hire a lawyer. Oh, that costs money. Well, I've got money. It's hidden under the... Rug? Sorry, hare. I found that weeks ago, and the dog's got to eat, you know. <laughs> now, that word dog was overheard by a guard. Say, whose dog are you? Why, I'm, uh, I'm his. Well, you ain't got no license. Sure enough, the hare received another sentence on the rock pile, and this one was for 30 years. By the time I get out of here, I'll be an old gray hare. Not if the hound could help it. You. I told you someday I would do you a favor. Look, do me a favor. Don't do me a favor. Don't be silly. I'm going to help you crack out of this place. Jamming a basket full of eggs under his arm, the hound led the hare to the front gate. Just a second there. Where do you think you're going? Open the gate. Open the gate. This is the Easter Bunny, and he's going to deliver some eggs. Oh, yeah. Let me look at those eggs. These must be hard-boiled eggs. Actually, they were hard-boiled hand grenades. I couldn't find any eggs. The hare received an additional 30 years, one for trying to escape and 29 for impersonating the Easter Bunny. But the day finally came when he was released. Old and bent, he headed back to his forest home, and wouldn't you know he'd come across his old friend, the hound? Ooh, that's smart. Hello, hound. Foot caught in the trap again? Yes, yes. You say, I wonder if you'd mind, you know, taking me home and caring for me. Well, I, I'd like to, but I've got a friend staying at my place. He's been taking care of things for me during the past ten years. Did you say friend? One friend? One friend is all I got. Then let's be on our way. One friend ain't gonna bother me. Yes, it looked as though the hound would continue taking advantage of the good-hearted hare. Ah, but that's where friendship came in. Or even though the hare had but one friend... Let me out of here! That friend was an important one. Hello, hare. Hello, skunk. Oh, you see, son? Quality is more important than quantity. I got a moral too, Pop. Good things come in smell packages. <laughs> That's hitting it on the nose.
Thank <laughs> you.